Okay. Suicide, or the Suicide Squad, as opposed to Suicide Squad. Is it a reboot? Is it a sequel? Uh, it does take into account Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey, although it never references them. What it does do, however, is that it takes a new group of characters, slaughters them, then takes another new group of characters and doesn't quite slaughter them, and then sends them on a mission to fight, uh, well, if you're a fan of DC, you've seen, seen their enemy before, and this was an enemy that gave Superman a run for his money. If you're not a fan of DC, you might find this one a little silly. Did I talk about how I buy buy a product from 4Ocean every, uh, every thousand subscribers and pull a pound of trash out of the ocean and you should support my channel because I'm a good person and I'm trying to save the environment and our world is on fire? I mean, seriously, guys. I know there are people out there that don't normally put something in the comments, but man... Give me a lol this time, just an LOL, because the world is on fire and we need to do something about it. I mean, not only not only do I, I pull trash out of the ocean, but I buy these stupid things over here. This means I, I planted five trees, you know that. Also means I walk 20, 21 miles, but the important thing is trees. And I want to buy uh, another bunch of these that are going to mean 75 more trees. Because guess what? The world is on fire and all the trees are burning and we need to plant more of them. Comment, like, and subscribe so I have the money to buy more things that mean I planted trees. So back to Suicide Squad. I really don't want to tell you too much because, I mean, ugh. There's, there's surprises right from the beginning. And this movie is infinitely better written and more entertaining than the first Suicide Squad. I would still say that... that uh, I mean, the first Suicide Squad at least kept things moving enough to be enjoyable, if I remember correctly. This one is just more enjoyable. So if that one was low on your watch list, you put this one high on your watch list. Although I will point out, you know, Harley Quinn, not as uh, hot in this movie. They do depict her reasonably well, but one of the things that... one of the things that I'm not liking about this character... I don't know if you guys know, Harley Quinn is a doctor. She has a doctorate in clinical psychology. So, whereas she was the crazy doctor that got sent to Arkham to take care of the Joker, she still is a doctor. She's not a stupid person. She's just kind of not all there. Okay? So, on the one hand, they do show her having a high level of intelligence, but a, a low self-esteem. But I really wish more of that doctoral training would kick in. Alright. So, again, the whole point of this movie is to blow up a Nazi-era bunker that is currently being used to research something that could destroy the world. And again, it is a very cliché plot. That's not a problem. It is a plot filled with really interesting characters. I mean, you know, um, what's his name? The guy that played Rocky Balboa totally escapes me right now. He plays uh, uh, King Shark, who is so dumb they should have never named him King Shark. But this is the dumbest interpretation of King Shark I've ever seen. And yet, 
he's a really likable character. In fact, most of these characters, they're fun. You understand. Polka Dot Man, for example, probably the strongest character fighting ability-wise in this entire film. Underutilized. And I mean, it's like, you know, you would have been like, hey, hey, Polka Dot Man, it's time for you to Polka Dot that thing because it's going to destroy the world. Could you, could you Polka Dot it already? Just bam, 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 come on. But <laughs> despite the lack of polka dotting, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he, he's not a bad, uh, bad character. You, you understand he has depth. You care about him. You know, you also ask, so why didn't he just bam, bam, bam and polka dot that thing? That's a question you ask a lot once you see what he can do. Yeah, I mean, this is a movie with a host of interesting characters doing a very cliché thing, and it is worth watching. Not great, but it's definitely still worth watching. Anyway, just my opinion. Love to hear yours. Comments below. I'm Richard. That's right, Randall the Rat here, and I'm back. Despite your best effort to be lazy, Richard, the owner of this channel, is still going to pay for a pound of trash to be removed from the ocean for every thousand subscribers after he gets monetized. He's paid for two pounds, he wants to pay for more, he wants to save the ocean at no cost to you. And what do you have to do? What do you have to do, lazy, disgusting, delicious human? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. You have to like. Like this video and comment on it. And encourage people to subscribe. Randall the Rat. Uh, could you come over? I mean, you just, you look delicious. You know, come over. Maybe don't comment on this video. Because then people will know you came over. And then I'll eat you and they'll know. Mmm. Haven't had human in a while.